Hello, family of light. Welcome back to my channel. This is Davida with the Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you, Tauruses, for a love reading. Now, if you're new to my channel, because I've had a lot of new subscribers, welcome. And for those who've been around for a while, welcome back. Let's see, what is going on with Taurus in love? Now what I do is I ask my guides to call in the Taurus's guides and higher selves that have the most to do with this reading to give the highest and best information for the healing of all. For Taurus's or the cross watchers. Welcome cross watchers. <laughs> I know there's some in the house. You go ahead and like it too. Like this video, if you so choose. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope to oin, to, oin, <laughs> to earn your subscription today. Apparently I can't talk and or shuffle. All right. Just heard from Spirit that we're gonna do an extra card here. Okay, they said, no, now we're taking two. That's unusual, usually there's only one. But hey, you guys are Tauruses. We're gonna do what your spirit wants, or your collective spirit wants. All right, so if you're new here, this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. Flip these two as it reads. Now, let me see if they wanna say anything off the bat. They're saying so far that you have perceived this new year for the majority of you who it's really going to resonate with. This has been somewhat, what I'm hearing is difficult and somewhat anticlimactic, climatic, you know what I'm saying? That something that you wanted to have happen did not as of yet. And they said, patience is a virtue. And let me say, I hate it when <laughs> spirit says patience, temperance. I'm like, <clears throat> But anyway, I digress. It's not my reading, it's yours. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna go silent. I'm listening to see if they have anything to say because I haven't really looked at this yet. And they're saying, no, go ahead. So you got the moon card here. You've got the three of swords and the hermit. It's interesting I'm reading it this way. So, well, it looks like you found out something that you did not want to hear about whatever the secret was here. And it made you go into Hermit where you just kind of backed it up. Your person does want to offer you something. But this Knight of Pentacles is like the slow as molasses. I want to offer you something and eventually I will get there. Wait for me. <laughs> I don't think I could go even slow-mo enough to really illustrate the slowness of that. <laughs> so it looks like too, they're having, they're having a lot of struggles. They're having a lot of stuff in their life that they need to take care of. What happened here, spirit? Okay, so they did something and they didn't tell you about it. And when you found out, it broke your heart and it made you back up and back away. And it might have caused this fight here. Their intentions, this person, I feel like this person is so darn busy, you know, like trying to juggle their life, their 3D work a day, keeping everything afloat that, you know, honestly, I, I don't feel like they had time to even think about the consequences of what this was. Now there's justice, the king of swords and the hanged man. 
It's interesting here where there's the Knight of Pentacles and then the Knight of Swords. Mr. Slow-Mo and the, the one who's charging in all ablaze. And here's, you know, the Hermit card is gaining perspective, going within, and so is the Hanged Man. I feel like this person does want this justice, as you do. Now they're pointing me to these ones over here. Yeah, you really feel betrayed here. And I just heard something about children. Something about, like, they might have children and he didn't, he, she, they did not include you in this situation, whether it was some kind of a gathering and they didn't think that you would mind or they... They're so overwhelmed here that they didn't include you because they didn't have time to even think about it, is what I'm hearing. And so, you know, you're here going, hmm, is this what we call love? And then what's this Ten of Pentacles about, Spirit? This is where you guys want to get to. And I think that you understand that this person is very busy with children alive. But I don't feel like, let me check. You don't have the same responsibilities they do. You might not have children or your children are grown. And I feel like you've, you've tried to be cool with them and, you know, understanding. But I mean, I think, I feel for the majority of you, you, you don't have children, so you don't and I'm not trying to, don't, don't be shooting the messenger. You don't really understand the gravity and the distraction that children can provide when it comes to your thoughts of, hey, what about me? This is me too, here, remember me? Kind of that energy. It's like you understand it, but you, you don't. And trust me, there's nothing wrong with that. Trust me, trust me. Um, it's just what it is, because you're like, well, hello, I want what I want. You know, why are you trying to break my heart here? I don't feel like they honestly even tried to. It wasn't even intentional at all. They're just like, this person is honestly overwhelmed. I'm feeling a lot of overwhelm energy when I get into this one here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even go into it because I was like, ooh, I already like the storyline. So this is the Romance Angels. It says, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. You know, and there's children here. Like they, you know, their children are all consuming. I don't know. Let me, let me check. Yeah, whatever they're going through here, it's very overwhelming for them. Very overwhelming. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Which is reasonable, right? You know, if you were a person who doesn't have that same kind of, I hate to sound mean about it, but burdens... You know, of course, of course they love their children, but you can see how these two children seem to be smothering the father, or at least in this instance, that's how I'm portraying it. That's why I love so many different kinds of cards because it, each different deck goes into a different feeling and different vibration and what I can get from, you know, the the vibrations of the paintings and things like that. So on the bottom of the deck is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And I think that you're just really wanting to be a part of their life more than what they're giving you. And it's frustrating you because you're like, hello, you want to move this forward. And honestly, they can't catch a breath. You know, and this, and this also mirrors the fact that they might be fighting with other family members. They might be fighting with this, their ex-spouse 
or they're fighting with other people in their lives, not only trying to take care of these children and the struggle the rest of their life. I'm hearing for some, there might even be a legal battle. This person's got a lot of drama, 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 trauma going on. So on the bottom of the deck is divine timing. And we knew that, right? I don't know if we mentioned it, but divine, did, wasn't I? Yeah, earlier I said about divine timing. I'm all, wah, wah. I knew spirit was going to come out with it. Darn divine timing. Because I am not a patient person whatsoever. When I, so when I see this, I'm all, what the hell does that mean? Divine timing my butt. Anyway, and because of their action, of course you felt abandoned. Of course you did. You know, and I, I really feel that this person loves you very, very deeply. Very deeply. You know, like we said here, true love. They know that you're their person, but with everything that's going on in their life, it's just like too freaking much. So what I'm hearing from spirit is with this vibrations card is, God, this sounds weird. Okay. So you need to find peace within you that they don't have time to find within themselves. And through you finding your peace, somehow it transfers to them. Maybe this is a twin flame situation, you know, cause it's true love here. Maybe that's what that is. Let me see. What's the level of this? Family. Yeah, family's involved. We already knew that. You know, maybe there's this has caused a bit of a separation. I don't I don't know. I don't really feel like it. I feel like for the vast majority of you Tauruses, this is just something that's happened just recently. So maybe yeah, it did cause a little bit of a separation, but like I guess I was thinking like long-term separation. I'm not getting that at all. You know, like eventually it will be this, but right now you're going to have to let them get grounded, you know, moved past the barrier that they're experiencing here. And here is balancing of the scale. So for a vast majority of, you know, your persons, it's going to be some kind of a legal situation that's happening too. So what spirit is saying for you, is that right now pressuring them or guilting them into, and yeah, their thought might've been thoughtless, hands down without question, period. However, from an outside point of view with your guides in this talking to me as a collective Tauruses, remember this is a, you know, not a personal read. If you want one, get it, look in the description box, but this person is is honestly trying the best they can, you know, and then th you don't want them to get disheartened going, you know what, you're just one, one other thing with, that's saying I'm not doing a good job. And then they're going to give up and go fine, whatever. Because honestly, this person is really, really overwhelmed. So you need to take the time, do some healing for you, figuring out you know, yeah, you, you, you felt abandoned, right? But is it really what it was or is it something that you're perceiving to be as such? And go deep with it because you don't want to get into this relationship here and have this drama, trauma going and going and going. No, do your work. I'm doing my work and it, sometimes it's thrilling and sometimes it's a knock upside the head. But know that it is worth doing. Trust me. I might bitch a storm as soon as I turn this video off about my situation. But hey, trust me, it is worth it. It will be worth it. And Spirit's telling me the same thing. Your guides are like begging, like, please do not let this opportunity get away. Because I think this might be um, a pattern with you. And, you know, for most people, right, who hasn't felt abandoned in their life. But make sure that you do not go into this energy of, oh, woe is me. And obviously they forgot about me during this event or they didn't ask me. And so thus 
This is what it means about me. All right. I think I can get off the soapbox, right, Spirit? Okay. What else did you want to say? This is interesting. I don't usually get this during like a general reading for people, but they're saying they want you to open your hearts to your own guides, to your own higher self, to allow that healing to come in, allow the lessons to come to you because they want to work with you to move forward. You know, and as easy as meditating, journaling, going out for a walk with some relaxing music on or whatever your, your jam is. Yeah, they say they look, they look forward to working with you because the situation is a beautiful situation and you just have to give it time. Oh wait, what kind of time? Divine time. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go there. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like this so it can get spread around to other Tauruses that need to hear this healing message. I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light. Bye for now.